CityGov2Go is an outreach program designed to connect the city government to neighborhoods. The program does everything from large-scale events to simple neighborhood interactions. In this spotlight on Bowling Green, we'll take a closer look at some of the services they provide and how they are building up the community of Bowling Green. In 2016, the city of Bowling Green decided we wanted to do something a little bit different with our neighborhood outreach. For about 15 years prior to that, we had had a summer stroll series, which were a series of neighborhood walks in our neighborhoods, and we decided that program had kind of run its course and we wanted to do something a little bit different. We wanted to still continue the spirit of having city government and our elected officials out in a neighborhood setting or out at a special event where people already are. Um, and we wanted to, to keep that, but we wanted to put a different spin on it. So that's how we came up with BG gov to go We wanted something that would be portable and flexible, but still uh, out in the community making contact with neighbors where they live. Karen had seen some other pop-up events and came up with the brilliant idea of BG gov to go and it's where the city government essentially pops up into your neighborhood. And so that is whenever the city officials were on board, we kind of did a test run and after that first one, when they saw the relaxed interaction that everybody had, everybody was completely sold and on board. And from there, we just, it became a community event to be as big or as small as we needed it to be. The main focus of BG gov to go is basically making the connections between neighbors and their city government and city programs. So um, wherever we go, that's the main emphasis. It's also about making connections between neighbors themselves. We find out a lot of times that it's easier to know someone maybe in a, on a Facebook group or on a website or even playing a game with someone across the United States than it is sometimes to know the people who live right across the street. So with BG gov to go we're really aiming to bring people together so they meet one another in their neighborhood and also bringing them together to meet our elected officials and our city staff. BG gov to go participates in a lot of standalone special events. For example, we participate with Community Education Stand for Children Day. Uh, we also participate with the Bowling Green International Festival. So those are two big events that we set up with. Uh, we also have some events that we plan ourselves. Uh, for example, we've had some BG gov to go block parties that have been targeted in specific neighborhoods. And this year we're actually planning one uh, for May the 4th that will be a community-wide block party uh, to which everyone in Bowling Green is invited. Fun is a big part of BG gov to go uh, I think through fun you are more informative, you're more educational, and people are more likely to want to participate and want to listen. We interject that in with games that we play, and that's, you know, just your cornhole in the backyard, that is playing with chalk and bubbles, or it's even a, um, a pop-up movie, you know, throwing, having a movie and people just coming together with their blankets and lawn chairs and eating popcorn. But fun is the key, in my opinion, the key element that BG gov to go has. One of the big events BG gov to go hosted this year was the May the 4th event. The event served as a kickoff for their season of events. It's our third year and we decided it's time to kind of elevate the, um, the, the experience that we're sharing with everybody. So Karen and I, whenever we were planning this year, we decided that we were gonna have a grand opening event and then we were gonna have a finale. And so whenever we were trying to decide when to do it and the dates for the schedule, we wanted to start before our normal BG gov to go events would regularly start. And it just so happened that May the 4th, 2018 is on a Friday. So very conveniently, we decided we had to do something, the Star Wars theme, May the 4th be with you. And it's kind of fallen into place beautifully. Um, and so that is gonna be our big kickoff. It's a large scale community event. And with that, we're gonna have multiple agencies that will be there, as well as we'll have some smaller departments that are just coming with the table to pass out some information. But then after that event, we have several with our uh, Bowling Green Warren County Library that we've teamed up with them. We're gonna have several pop-up events um, t teaming up with them, as well as with Stanford Children Day and some other community block parties that we have already had established in the past. And then this year, new is gonna be the big finale. It's our Pumpkin Palooza, and hopefully we'll have a food truck rally so we can have another, it won't be as big as May the 4th, but it's gonna be a nice fall closure event that we're gonna have this year. So we're really looking forward to the season. 
One of the key reasons that we do these BG gov to go events and we do them in a neighborhood setting a lot of times is because we're really trying to model the same kinds of activities and fun things that neighbors could do to get to know one another. And that is a core part of what we're trying to do is encouraging neighbors to come together, to know one another and to advocate for themselves. And so one of the things that we find most helpful is uh, people like to have a good time. They like to eat, they like to have fun, and generally those are the kinds of events that people are more likely to come out and participate in because it's a relaxed atmosphere, it that makes people feel more at home. And so we're just trying to encourage that and model that same kind of activity out in a neighborhood. BG gov to gos main function is to serve the community. If neighborhoods are interested in getting a block party together to get to know their cities and neighbors, all they have to do is call. I called Karen, as, as I've already said. I talked to her about it before we actually got it together. Um, I called her and asked her what things we would need to do. And um, she asked me a lot of questions about what I would want to do and how we would want to have the party. And I told her. And so she did most of the setting up. And so whatever things um, she came up with, she asked me did I like it, and I said yes. <laughs> we passed our flyers, um, we talked to the neighbors, um, and the city did a great job in bringing in people to serve us food and bringing in um, the fire department and the officials. So they did a great job. What? Okay, say it. Police department. Um, and the kids enjoyed that. That was one of the things they said they liked, even though he can't talk now. Um, but the city <laughs> did a great job, so I would say keep up the good work. What motivated me to get involved was just a desire to know more of my neighbors, other than just the few um, that used to catch my dog when it ran away. Um, so Angela contacted me and let me know that she was putting this together. And she and I had been talking before about having some kind of a community thing. For me, it's to try to get to know the neighbors, the people that, um, not just right next door, but in the area. Because like I said, we like to walk, so we meet a lot of people in this neighborhood. And I wanted to get to know them. Some people, um, he, this man passed away now, but his name was Mr. Willie, and he lived on Whispering Hills. And many kids used to walk every day. And one day, we didn't, it was on Wednesday, we'd go to Bible class, so we walked earlier that day. He said, you're not in your normal time of walking. I never knew he paid attention. He said, you're not in your normal walking time. I said, well, that's because today, Wednesday, we have Bible class, so we have to walk a little bit earlier. But he was paying attention, and I didn't even know it. And so we got to be good friends after that. And I'd stop and talk to him. And when I didn't come by, he'd ask me, you been OK? I haven't seen you in a few days. And I was like, no, he's on vacation. <laughs> so people pay attention and observe what you do, even though you don't know what. For BG gov to go essentially it's where we are wanted and where there is a need, we can be there. It can be, like, it can be as big as Karen and I on a table sitting up just on a street, in a gym, wherever, or it can be a large event. Any neighbor, any citizen of the Bowling Green, if they want to contact us and want us to come out to their house, their street, their neighborhood, we'll be more than happy to help. One of the things that's really uh, easy about BG gov to go is it's very flexible. And we can take BG gov to go to a lot of different kinds of events. Uh, and it can work at a different scale. So it could be a smaller, more intimate location and event, or it could be something large scale like our community block party. Uh, we basically have some partners we're working with and they help us decide where to go, but we will also uh, go on invitation. So if there's an, a neighbor out there who says, you know, I think I'd like to do a block party in my neighborhood and I'd like BG gov to go to be a part of that, they can simply call us at 270-393-3444 and speak to Emily or myself and we're happy to, to get some plans underway and work with them to plan that event. The important thing I want everybody to understand is you don't have to wait for a BGGov event to um, ask a question, have a concern, report a problem. You're more than welcome to call us. You can report it online or you can stop by and see us anytime. We're happy to have a conversation with anybody. For more information on this or any other Spotlight on Bowling Green program, please call 270-393-3000 or visit bgky.org.